The Occupational Safety and Health Administration requires employers to limit workers' exposure to respirable crystalline silica on the job. This is one of a series of videos showing dust control methods that OSHA specifies for many common construction tasks in Table 1 of the Respirable Crystalline Silica Standard for Construction. When used properly, these methods are effective in limiting workers' exposure to respirable crystalline silica dust. This video describes two methods that can be used to control dust when using a jackhammer or handheld-powered chipping tool on materials that contain crystalline silica a water delivery system, or a commercially available shroud and dust collection system. First, let's review the full and proper use of a water delivery system. To control dust created by a jackhammer or handheld power chipping tool, workers can use the jackhammer or chipping tool with a water delivery system. To comply with Table 1, the water delivery system must supply a continuous stream or spray of water to the point of impact. For example, a helper can spray a continuous stream of water at the point of impact from a portable pressurized canister or from a hose connected to a water faucet or water tank. Alternatively, the water delivery system can be mounted permanently on the tool. Instructions for retrofitting jackhammers with water delivery systems are available at www.osha.gov silica. Whether water is sprayed by a helper or by a water delivery system mounted on the tool, make sure the amount of water is sufficient to minimize release of visible dust. It's also important to correctly maintain the water delivery system. When the water delivery system is not working properly, dust is not effectively controlled. With regular use, hand pumps can wear out, hoses can become pinched, hose connections may fail, and nozzles can become clogged. To make sure a continuous stream of water is applied at the point of impact, operators should regularly check that the water supply is sufficient, check nozzles for damage, remove clogs, and be sure hoses and connections are intact and functioning correctly. Now, let's review the full and proper use of a commercially available shroud and dust collection system. A shroud and dust collection system can control dust created by a jackhammer or handheld powered chipping tool. To comply with Table 1, the dust collector must provide the airflow recommended by the tool manufacturer and have a filter with 99% or greater efficiency and a filter cleaning mechanism. It's also important to correctly maintain the dust collection system. When the dust collection system is not working properly, dust is not effectively controlled. With regular use, the shroud or cowling can become excessively worn, vacuum hoses can become clogged, filters can become overloaded, and dust collection bags will fill up. To help ensure the system is working correctly to minimize dust emissions, the shroud must be intact and installed according to the manufacturer's instructions. The jackhammer or chipping tool must also be operated and maintained in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions to minimize dust emissions. Instructions often direct users to keep tools sharp, regularly check the dust collection system for signs of damage, make sure the hose connecting the tool to the vacuum is intact and without kinks or tight bends that can reduce airflow and dust collection, replace the filter regularly or as needed, do not overfill the waste container, and follow a specified maintenance schedule. Be sure used filters and dust collection bags are handled in a manner that will minimize workers' exposure to silica dust. As long as either of the specified dust control methods is followed when using a jackhammer or handheld power chipping tool and the task is performed outdoors for four hours or less during a shift, the tool operator and workers who are assisting the operator are not required to wear respirators. If the task is performed outdoors for more than four hours during a shift, or indoors, or in an enclosed area for any length of time, the tool operator and workers assisting the operator must use respirators with an assigned protection factor of at least 10. When respirators are required, they must be put on before beginning the task and must be worn the entire time the task is performed. When respirators are used, the employer must comply with OSHA's respiratory protection standard.
Using a jackhammer or handheld powered chipping tool indoors or in an enclosed area requires an exhaust method, such as a portable fan, as needed to minimize the accumulation of visible airborne dust. Be sure that any exhaust method chosen moves airborne dust away from workers and does not block an exit route. Employers who fully and properly implement the appropriate dust control methods specified by OSHA in Table 1 are not required to measure the tool operator's exposure to respirable crystalline silica or the exposure of other workers assisting with the task. The respirable crystalline silica standard for construction also includes additional requirements to protect workers exposed to respirable crystalline silica. Many of these requirements apply whether employers are using a dust control method specified by OSHA in Table 1 or an alternative dust control method. More information on the standard's requirements to protect workers exposed to respirable crystalline silica, including information on specified exposure control methods for other common construction tasks, can be found at www.osha.gov silica. For information about other OSHA health and safety standards, visit www.osha.gov or call OSHA at 1-800-321-OSHA.